Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Challenge Accepted. Today we're working on a challenge, a Facebook group called Inspired by Memories. And we are going to be using this sketch. Let me make it go up just a little bit bigger. This is my sketch. Let's get that to focus a little bit. All right, so it's a two-pager, a little bit more complicated. Tons of, look, do you see the fun banners, though, that are up in the top? Different size photos down here, it looks like, and a couple embellishment clusters on either side. So that looks fun. Then, the next part of it is that we to use the sketch. Number two is we use techniques, which is our, the techniques are choice, but we have to specify what we did. Number three is we have to use embellishment clusters to include a homemade tag. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Not that's it. So the photos I'm going to use, I have a bunch because it's the two page. I have these. Why does it want to be all blurry on me? Okay, there we go. I have these photos. And then I have this. And this was from Easter this past Sunday. And this, let's see, this one, this one, and this one are my children. The other ones are their significant others, and I thought it would be fun, now keeping in mind they're 17 to 22, to have an Easter egg hunt. So we popped all the eggs out back, my husband did, and then we told the kids to grab bags and go, and they were hilarious. They were running like crazy fools, running around trying to get these little plastic Easter eggs that just had like a Reese's peanut butter cup in it, but it was hilarious. Like... These two were really funny because this girl held the bag, she's holding it, and then my son's running around grabbing it and they're chucking them in. They were a great team. Anyway, so I'm going to use that. And then I know I'm going to use things from this collection here, this My Mind's Eye Happy Days. So I do know that since I have this, this, two-page sketch. I'm going to have to find another piece of cardstock and all that. I don't know. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fast forward this, and then I'll bring you along with me, and I'll come back for a couple minutes of a live at the end. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. So I ended up going to my cardstock stash and grabbed out these two pieces of aqua cardstock, and I think they're just from like one of those die cuts with a view packs and like some pastel pack kind of thing and it was from Tuesday morning it was like six bucks for this big book of eastery looking um eastery looking cardstock so that's what that is and I'm trying to decide which paper to use to put this band design on that was in the sketch so in the sketch the band design is running across the top of the layout but in mine I end up running it across the bottom only because I decided to use this floral print and I can't find a way to make it make sense in my head for the floral print to be floating around up in the sky. I need my flowers to be closer to being, I guess, grounded. So that's actually the whole reason why. Otherwise, I would have been just fine putting the, uh, the bands of the uh, pattern paper up top. So that's what I'm doing there. And next, I will uh, start getting my photos and trimming them all up. I have quite a few, so it's going to take a minute, so bear with me. So I have them all trimmed up, and I decided to look at the placement. I wanted to see where I want them to go, and I'm going to switch them around just a little tiny bit. So I'm taking a minute here to, to decide which of the leftover pattern papers that I have from this collection, which ones that I can use scraps of and all that kind of stuff to start at least for the banners that I'm going to be putting across the top of my page. I'd rather use little bits that are left over than um, waste, uh, you know, an uncut piece of pattern paper, but a lot of people are brave and they just start chopping and it comes out great and yeah I'm just not quite there yet. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut out a bunch of these banner pieces and 
like in the sketch they were shaped like that uh, aqua the deeper aqua that you see there and then um, I'm going to also cut the bottoms of most of them into a bit of a fishtail. Alright, so we have all my little fun banner pieces cut and kind of arranged. Doesn't mean that they're going to stay like that, but we did arrange them. And then I go ahead and mat all of my photos. I'm going to end up matting them all on this really nice looking um, navy blue cardstock. And I don't double mat any of them, which is kind of neat. I mean, I usually end up doing that more, so I guess it's fun to change things up a bit. So I mat them all on the navy blue and I will end up popping up the large photo and I believe I'll end up popping up the photo that you see me uh, messing with right there of my oldest daughter. The rest I'm going to just leave, you know, not popped up. So then I'm also mimicking this sketch as well. I'm putting a single hole through each of the banner pieces up top. Um, and I found in my trim stash this kind of burlap kind of rope twine stuff and I ended up liking it because in the back of a lot of the pictures you can see um, straw like color and that's from the pond and the uh, the woods behind my house haven't quite woken up yet from the winter so we do have a lot of yellow in the pictures and it ends up getting mimicked kind of nicely with the uh, the rope that I put through it. So I'm just finishing up attaching my banner bits and you see that I put that burlap kind of heavy twine stuff and just trying to figure out how to make it look cash even though clearly I'm the one that put it there but trying to make it have a nice little flow to it. And I don't know if I told you why I have that piece of washi up at the top and I also have it on the bottom. But the reason why is when I do um, double page spreads, I like to see them kind of tight side by side so they don't slide around on me. And so I will oftentimes go ahead and just put a little bit of washi to keep it all in place. So that's what that's about. I think it's still down on the bottom. I also still need to trim the bottom band of pattern paper was a little bit wider than my cardstock. So I still need to trim a tiny bit of that, but that's all right. That'll look just fine as soon as I get that done. So you see I have the, uh, the fabric-y twine stuff kind of looping along on the top and I thought that worked out just fine. And so the next thing I need to do is get all of my photos down and I'm going to use um, I, I'm going to go ahead and use my T-square ruler and they're going to be pretty straight across on the bottom. All right, so I'm starting to look at the fun embellishments that came in this My Mind's Eye kit. I don't know if I brought it up before. This was a kit from the Scrap Room. It's one of their Flavors of the Month kits. So, and I decide to go ahead and use photo corners on these, uh, the end photos which the thought with that is, first of all, I liked it. There's not a huge amount of thought, but the thought with that is it's kind of bringing the photos all together as, as if they're going to read as, I'm not gonna call it one photo block, but I think it kind of insulates it in a little bit. You might know what I mean. I don't know what I mean, but you know what I mean. All right, so I go ahead and put those in all four places, and then I'm gonna start looking at this this uh, set, I have a chipboard sheet with it, I have enamel dots, and I have a sticker sheet. So I have a lot to play with. And right away, I liked this little oh my sign that I found in chipboard. And then you see that wonky house that's on the far left and that stays there. I really liked that thing. I thought it was really cute. There's also a couple of circular kind of elements and some floral elements that are a part of this uh, chipboard sheet and I think in this collection there was only the 6 by 12 of that I don't remember seeing it as being two-sided but I you know I could be wrong but I, at least I never saw it and I do use all three 
uh, colors of the flowers that are in the chipboard. You see that there's uh, kind of that lime green on the far left and then there's a yellow and turquoise one on the far right so that's the whole repeating the elements you know over and over thing um, my youngest bulldog just came in and sat down so the snoring is going to commence sorry so I'm gonna find the little bits and pieces I loved this chicken that was I think it's a chicken. I'm calling it a chicken. I don't, it's a little funny looking and it has these cute little around the ankle area. It looks like ruffles and I thought they were hilarious. So that had to be, you know, a, a big part of this layout because that was my favorite element or icon or whatever you want to call it that was in this kit. So anyway, the alphas I am grabbing are this set by Sticko. They're just chipboard and they look like wood grain. And I just got them, I think, a week ago from Tuesday morning. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my title, and it'll say at the egg hunt, I believe. Okay, so you see that I have at the egg hunt uh, that's just on the right, upper right, and I just have it going across the banners, but at least the alphas, they are square. So... <laughs> It's just that the banner is kind of wonky, so it may or may not read as straight, but I know it's straight, so it's good. Then I'm going to go ahead and use liquid glue. I'm using Nuvo because I've been loving that kind of glue. So I'm using nu Nuvo to stick down the chipboard because we all know that chipboard just does not stay where you put it. Don't know why, but it does not. So I'll do that anywhere that I need to uh, attach it and then I'm going to do a bit of an embellishment cluster you see where it says oh my with that chipboard arrow piece I'm going to go ahead above that and use a bunch of the banner elements that are uh, in my embellishments and I'm going to go ahead and stack them all the way up now in this challenge we had to use a technique and so what I decided to do is I the pen I'm using right there, it's called a friction pen, which is like F-R-I-X-I-O-N. It's the kind that, um, it's in navy blue, by the way. And it's the kind that if you make a mistake, you can erase super clean with it so that you can just go ahead and use it and not be freaked out because it doesn't leave any residue behind. So I've recently fallen in love with the friction pens. So I'm just going ahead and making my banner show up just a little bit more by using the technique of outlining, which I should have done before I stuck stuff all over them. But I had it in mind to do it the whole time. It just did not quite work out when I got excited putting embellishments everywhere. So that's what you see there. So I outlined all of the banners on the top in navy blue, and there's navy blue in this uh this collection so it ends up looking cute and just kind of whimsical because a mad dash easter egg hunt is definitely not going to be a refined situation so this is where i go okay let me put this banner piece above the oh my and it it becomes like this big old stack of fun embellishments but i liked it which that mimics the sketch a lot better than what i did on the far left with that house but it um because it looked like there's these cute embellishment clusters on the on the left and the right in the sketch but i guess i have an embellishment piece on the left and it's more of a what i would call a cluster on the right but hey this for me this is pretty darn close with this sketch design so I'm seeing if anything else works on the sticker sheet. And I'm doing a pretty good job working through it. I've only done a couple layouts, so it's not going bad, badly. And then I put that nice job sticker there because they did a fine job. They found every single Easter egg. They were scouring the place, so they did a really fine job. And this is where I will get ever so busy uh, sprinkling some enamel dots. Oh, and I did say early on that I was going to come back and go live at the end of this layout. But as I was finishing up, I ended up hearing um, my mother-in-law came in and I film when I'm downstairs in my house. So I ended up um, 
Oh, I was showing somebody my layout. I ended up uh, not going live at the end. I just thought I'd go ahead and let you know that I took a couple still shots, and those will be at the end of this, but I, I won't have anything else to add. Just wanted to let you know that things change along the way. Yes, you're watching me show somebody how my layout turned out. That's kind of funny. All right, I wanted to thank you for watching my video today and please go ahead and like and subscribe and leave me a comment because I always love hearing from you guys. It really makes my day. And also, there'll be a link below to Kathy's video that she went ahead and did for the same challenge. So check it out and leave her some love and I know we would both appreciate it so much. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.